Okay, last time we finished with the tens. Let's look at our to-do list and see what we're doing next. Let's get rid of that part so we're done with tens. All right, we can move to aces. Aces are tricky, and a lot of its behavior has to do with um, whether you have multiple aces or not, or multiple cards that go above 21. So I'm thinking we probably should go into multi-cards. I could do ace by itself, but I think we'll reserve that for when we just get into aces. So let's move to multiple cards. And in fact, notice these are side by side, so why don't we just do multiple cards? Um, I don't even know if we need two tests or not uh, for triangulation. I don't think we will. Uh, but let's start with the first one and see where we are, and then we'll decide if we need more. So, um, test, void test, multiple cards. Oops, I forgot to paste that above like I like. There we go. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. That's the example I'm going to do. All right, so how does this look? This is interesting. Um, well, now I've got a kind of a conundrum here. Um, so I'm not going to bother with, I'm, let me go back down to assert card as value and copy and paste that up. Because normally this is what I do, right? And well, I have an add card method on my system under test. So why don't we just add another card? So we'll add one card and then another. Let's uh, make this specific seven first, and then I'll add eight. And when that's done, when you evaluate it, I should get a value of 15. I had to steal this because down here, this is a cert card is value, not cards is value. So in other words, I'm not looking at a hand, I'm looking at a single card, um, which is interesting. Uh, so, okay, so I got a test and hopefully it fails, right? Let's go and check that out. Sure enough, I've got a failing test. Let us go ahead and commit that. That's all we need to do right now. Uh, so this is a fail on, uh, let's see, multiple cards. Okay. Uh, all right, so now what do we do? Well, this is gonna be a problem because, all right, so we have add card that adds a single card and we've been storing that in a variable card, but now we've got multiple cards coming in. So we're gonna need to collect them. This has to be an array of some sort. Now, if we think our implementation, like the code we're about to write is complicated enough and it's too hard to get to a passing test right away, uh, we probably don't want to do a lot of coding under a red. We wanna to get to a green as fast as possible. So what we're going to do instead, uh, we have this failing test, but I'm going to immediately back it out and comment it out. The reason I'm doing this is I want to get back to a green right now. I haven't done any implementation, but I want my test to pass because what I'm going to do is redesign my code uh, so that it makes it easy to pass that test. But I need all my old tests to keep passing. So this is really a refactoring job that I'm about to do. So I've commented this out. Now I've only got my other tests passing. And what I wanna do is redesign this uh, code so that instead of just storing a single card, I'm gonna store an array of cards. And that's gonna require a significant rewrite to this whole thing. So let's, uh, let's start working on that. So I'm gonna have a private uh, char array cards. That's an array of them. Um, that's gonna be kind of tough because I'm gonna have multiples coming in. So I probably need an array list or something. So let's change, I need a dynamically uh, uh, a, dy uh, a dynamically sizing a, a list. I don't want that. So, okay, let's do uh, an array list. Uh, well, I guess list is the, a list of char. You can't do char, you have to do a, a class. Uh, char is a primitive type. But we know auto boxing will work for us. And this will be cards equals uh, a new. Uh, hash, oh, and hash, what am I doing? Uh, let's do an array list of character. So this is the general type, the array list is a specific. These come from, well, let's save that. We'll get a compilation error right away. 
I'm expecting a compilation error because array list and list aren't in my namespace. So let's go and import uh, from java.util.star. I have to be more specific. Maybe I should. Let's be more specific. List and array list. There we go. Now it compiles. I'm keeping it running. So I notice I made a small change. I, it failed, but I went ahead and fixed it real quick. All right. Now let's do this. Cards.add card. So every time a card comes in, I'm just going to add it to my list. I'm not going to take this out yet because if I did, I'd break my entire implementation. Same thing for this. I don't want to break the implementation. I want to slowly build up my new infrastructure, lay it in place, and then I'm going to make one last switch. And at the last moment, what's going to happen is I'm going to make all the old plumbing, all this other stuff, invalid or uh, not worth it anymore. Oops. I'm just going to move this so it's in the same order. I've got the list card. I got the list I'm dealing with. I got the card. Okay. Let's see. In here, it does deal with card. Um, it's going to need to deal with cards, plural. So when you evaluate, what it needs to do is loop through the cards, right? So for, uh, let's see, character. Or can I use char? Let's try it. Char uh, card in cards. See if that loop passes or not. I always forget whether I can do a primitive there. And I can. Okay, so for each one of those, uh, I'm going to take the card and I want to evaluate it. Now, hmm, what I'm noticing is this code down here is for evaluating a single card. What I'm doing is evaluating multiple cards. So maybe what I can do is move this to a method um, that I can call on to, a, to get the value for a single card. And then I can call that inside my loop. I like that idea. So let's go ahead and move that. So private, um, it's going to return a card and it's going to be evaluate card. So for a single, I made it private because it's not part of the public interface. And what do you give it? You give it a, a card, a single card, and it returns its value. And I'm going to call it here, you have return. Because right now I'm just trying to replace this code with what I had before. Return evaluate card and I pass it the card. So I'm just refactoring this into here. And if all goes well, that should still pass the test. You see now maybe why I don't want to do this under a red because I want to make sure I'm not breaking anything as I move things around. And I'm doing a lot of rework to make this work. Okay, now I'm ready to call evaluate card. So our goal is to turn evaluate into a, uh, something that evaluates all the cards instead of just one. Okay, so we're going to evaluate the card. That's going to give us back a value. We should add that into some total. So let's make a total equals zero. And then I can say total plus equals value. Okay. And so far, this should still pass all the tests. Waiting for it to detect the change, or has it already done that? Maybe it already did that. OK, must have already done that and decided to pass. That's great. So next thing we're going to do is uh, the last bit here, the last change we need to make is instead of returning evaluation of one card, we're just going to return the total. Now, if we only have one card in the system, uh, if you only call that card once, this loop should still work for it, right? It's more general. So this is evaluating all your cards rather than a single card. But it does that by calling evaluate card each time. Let's see if our test pass. And it does. It looks like it already has. I, I've been talking while I did its work. OK. So notice what we've done is uh, we've now made all of the single card stuff useless. So we can get rid of it. Everything that was single card, we just get rid of all the plumbing for that. And we're just left with the multi-card implementation. Let's make sure it still passes the tests. And it does. So we have done a, a redesign 
of how we're implementing our hand evaluator. And we did that under the green to make sure all our old tests keep passing as we did it. And now that we've got this uh, working for all cards, let's see if it might actually turn out that we've implemented, well, before I do, okay. So I've done my refactor. I'm about ready to uncomment this and move forward again. Uh, before I do, I'm going to do a new type of commit. So I've had to do a refactor here. So I'm gonna say, instead of fail, I'm gonna say refactor. This is different than cleaning. I mean, cleaning is a refactoring too, but what we're really doing is a, well, maybe we should call it redesign. Yeah, let's call it redesign, redesign. So I've had to comment out my new failing test, make it passing again, and I've left that alone. Notice it's still commented out over here. I've got it to work with the new redesign. I'm ready to move forward. I'm gonna commit this now uh, to indicate that I've done a redesign. Okay, now I will go ahead and uncomment this, my originally failing test. In this case, I believe it's just gonna pass the test. That's not always true. Uh, sometimes you're gonna do that refactor, you'll uncomment the test, it'll fail, but then you'll be able to make a very simple change, like a one line change or something like that, and then pass the test. In which case you would do uh, a commit again here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, commit the pass, because that was a pass. All right, we're back to passing. And now we're ready to do a cleanup. So we are passing seven, eight. Let's see, we have this issue where we're passing in multiple cards. Um, we could probably generalize that, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I don't see that duplication all over the code just yet, but I think we're going to in a minute. But let's just leave that alone as is. How's our implementation looking these days? for card and cards, evaluate each card into value total. So I could probably skip this, uh, I can inline evaluate card right here. I don't need a temporary variable for that. That'll make that a little nicer. So evaluate card and add that into total. That's looking good. I can read that loop quite well. This is looking good. Okay, I think I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna declare that clean. Okay, and that ends this video.